Hey, what's up? Welcome to Through the Mixing Glass. My name is Joel. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you're having an amazing holiday season. I hope you're getting to spend it with the people that you care about the most, your friends, your family, your loved ones, whoever they may be. I hope that you, as a fellow cocktail nerd, from one cocktail nerd to another, are keeping them supplied with tasty libations. That's our job. You got to hold up your end of the bargain. For today's video, we're going to be making some of my favorite easy holiday cocktails that you can serve at Christmas parties, holiday gatherings, whatever. These are going to be uh, drinks that you can churn out fast and furious. The name of the game here, speed, simplicity. We're going to do a large format drink. I'm just going to make one, but I'll provide you the recipe so that you can scale it up. Um, and you know, the goal here is just to get back to so socializing as fast as possible. So without any further ado, here are my favorite Christmas cocktails. Thanks for stopping by through the mixing glass where we are all about creative modern cocktails. You're not gonna find a ton of classic cocktails on this channel. What you will find are pop culture cocktails, modern drinks from working bartenders, equipment reviews, tier rankings, and even some original drinks from me. This video will give you some ideas for how you can start working a Morrow into your home bar. If you're looking for new drinks to make at home, this is the channel for you. This is Through the Mixing Glass, looking at cocktails differently. Our first drink today doesn't really have a name because it's really more of a template than anything else. I'll explain later in the video. First up is three quarters of an ounce of homemade cinnamon syrup. And we're gonna balance that out with an equal measure of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Next is an ounce and a half of spiced rum. I'm using Chairman's Reserve Spice Rum, which was recommended to me by my friend and the home bartender. She did not miss with that recommendation. This stuff is incredible. Now let's top that up with some apple cider and garnish with a fan of apple slices. Now let's set that aside and get started on drink number two, the Poor Richard. This drink was created by Paul Calvert and Greg Best at the Ticonderoga Club in my former hometown of Atlanta, Georgia. First into our shaker is half an ounce of cranberry cordial. And I'm telling you right now, this stuff is amazing. I've been using it in anything and everything that would benefit from pure, delicious cranberry goodness. I'll leave a recipe for this in the description below. Next is half an ounce of lemon juice. Now it's time for a full ounce of sweet vermouth. The recipe recommends Koki Torino, but I'm gonna go with Nawali Pratt. Whatever kind of red vermouth you have at home will work great. Now let's top this up with a hard cider. Make sure it's a dry cider. We don't want anything too sweet here. Bonus points if it's from a local cidery in your area. I'll just give this a quick stir to combine. And then we're gonna garnish it with a dusting of freshly grated nutmeg. All right, there we have it. Our two easy holiday cocktails. <laughs> I'm kind of torn. I don't know which to start with. I guess let's go with this one first. Cheers. Mm. Oh yeah, apple, spice, cinnamon, oh, balance perfectly with the lemon juice. That, that goes down dangerously smooth. That is so good. I gotta go for another sip here. That's a great drink. Anyone's gonna like that. Uh, it'll also go great if you don't have spiced rum, you can also use bourbon. It's not gonna have some of those spicy notes from the, from the spiced rum. It'll be equally delicious. If you don't wanna make cinnamon syrup, you could use maple syrup. This is a drink, and the reason I include it is because it's so versatile. You can swap in, it's almost more of like a template than a, than a strict recipe. You can swap in all sorts of things. Also, because you're adding the cider to top it, you don't have to make as many of them because it's a longer drink. It's not like, you know, a two ounce pour of whiskey in an old fashioned and it's gone, you know, a, a few minutes later. This is a longer drink. It goes down pretty smooth, but uh, it's a bigger drink and it'll keep people, you know, it'll give them something to drink for a little while. So that's why I included it in this video. Uh, this one right here, very excited to give this a try. I haven't had this, uh, the Poor Richard in a few years. Um, so let's go ahead and give it a try. Cheers. Mmm, the cranberry cordial, the red vermouth, the sweet vermouth, and the cider. Oh my gosh, those play together so beautifully. That is really good. It's also fairly low ABV. Uh, you know, obviously the only alcohol that's in this is the 
the vermouth, and also whatever's in the cider. This cider in particular is 5%. So this is your, this is your low ABV party punch. I obviously just made one, but this is extremely easy to scale up into a larger format punch. And then your job is just to enjoy it, just to have fun, just to serve it. It, this is, it, as far as holiday drinks go, a punch is about as easy as it's gonna get. You put the two of these together, I think you've got all your bases covered in terms of like what people like to drink. Um, so I think, I, honestly, I think this is the perfect pairing. I don't think that anyone that you are gonna be getting together with isn't gonna like one or the other of these. You know, wine drinkers, I think they would gravitate towards this one, people who like beer, or you know whiskey, this is the one for them. You don't have to use the spice rum, you can use bourbon, you can use rye, whatever people like to drink, you can use it in this particular cocktail, assuming it's you know a brown liquor or something like that. Um, but man, both of these are really good. And I hope that they will help make uh, your holiday gatherings a little bit brighter. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great uh, Christmas, New Year's, uh, you know, whatever you celebrate. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I, it really means the world to me to have you know, people watch these videos uh, and I hope that you will, uh, you know, have a great new year. All right. Thank you so much. And I will see you at our next video. Cheers. Mm. Damn, that is really good. Wow. Oh, the cranberry.